yeah. Cool kids, cool kids, what it is. Eva says hello. What you gonna know? We're gonna learn today, cool kids. We're gonna learn what not to buy. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna learn what not to buy, my little darlings. Because I went hog effing wild up in this bee. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, yes. I made Mondo purchase. Mondo. The big giga purchase. Not really. It's not that big. It's kind of big. Kind of a big, I'm kind of a big deal, guys. Hey, all of you been watching me on the YouTubes, uh, whether it's been a minute or a year, we are a big deal here because we have Eva. Which, guys, I don't know if you noticed it, her fur is so freaking soft. Like, like I don't, I don't believe I've ever felt a cat this soft. Yeah, yours is a soft little baby. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Very pettable. <laughs> and she doesn't mind. So I'm good. Alright. I have three separate purchases to show you today. Um huh, where do I start here? Uh the first purchase was a, a minor purchase, I suppose. Of uh $66.95 and it was for um, ah, a Cayman Island 8 proof set 1972 and it's about 2.4 ounces of silver, if I remember right. But we can look that up. It's four silver coins. Four silver coins. Can you tell which coins are silver? Also, there's some really cool designs like this turtle coming out of the water. Uh, the little prawn or shrimp. Uh, the fishy fishies. I mean, what's not to love, right? Now this set had a mintage of 11,000, 11,000, and we got it a little over melt, but not, not too much over melt for something that rare. Now I am not done buying uh, proof sets. I have another one coming. Uh, I won't tell you where from. I'll let you guys figure it out when it gets here. Uh, now that one I paid a little more for, but man, the mintage is even lower. And the uh, the cool factor is just that much cooler, man. It really is. Um, oh, I only have two purchases to show you. I have another purchase coming. Two purchases. Two more purchases, and then we're done for a while. Till the coin show, which is October 1st. All right. So hopefully everything spans out. I may have a really good deal coming. Uh I'll tell you about it when it gets here, but let's just say it could go one of two ways. Either I got a great deal or I'm going to do a return because they false advertise. It's one of the two. All right. I do love a good deal, guys. I live for that stuff. That's why I buy this uh, foreign junk silver, you know? Uh, you guys, a lot of people out there, they tell me, hey, Josh, stop buying that stuff. I got to tell you, there's some about holding more silver for fewer dollars in my hand. Call it an ego boost. Call it me uh, trying to make up, compensate for something. I don't know. I walk barefoot, though, if you wonder about that. But, yeah, maybe I'm compensating. Um for something maybe in my childhood. I don't know, but I like, listen, I like to spend $1 and get as many atoms of silver as I can, but I also factor in the cool factor, and that's what this next purchase is going to show you, the cool factor, okay? 
And Eva's going to show us the cool factor while she grooms herself as I get this stuff out. Now, you guys know I'm willing to pay a little more for a little bit of cool. And what I'm about to show you guys today is no exception. Some of these I got well under melt. Some of these I got well over melt. And when you put it all together, I haven't done the math yet, but I would imagine this lot's, if not under melt, really close to melt. Um, but I'm going to show you these things now. Promise me you guys aren't going to get too excited, okay? What I'm about to show you is actually some pretty rare stuff, but it's very niche. Not Nietzsche, just Nietzsche. All right. So, be forewarned, guys. Some of you are going to possibly be jelly. AF. Some of you are going to be like, that's garbage, yo. And some of you are going to be like, oh, that's pretty cool. And those are the people I made this video. Because we are about to have cool factor. So much cool factor. So, let's see what we got here. Right. Without showing off too much info. We paid that many dollars. We got a lot of combined shipping. That's the secret, guys. I've told you that. If you watch Silver University, I can show you how to get that much off your shipping. It's a very simple technique. Uh, it's called contact the seller. That's all I'll say about it for now. And these are the items we procured. So Cayman Islands, 1983, $25 proof. That's one coin for $44.99. This one Jamaican coin costs $94 even. You'll see why here in a second. There's a United Nations silver medal from the Franklin Mint that... It's $14.99. Here's a, a sterling silver Orlando medal, $19.99. Here's a um, Judea Capta 60 millimeter sterling uh, Israeli medal, official medal from the government, $99.99. Now, this was over melt, but I did get a free bronze medal with it. The vintage on the bronze medal is $20,000, by the way, in case you're wondering. Turks and Kirkos. Now, this is the coin I spent the most over melt for, but it's a proof, and there's only a few thousand of these in existence. I had, I already had the uh, circulating strike, the uncirculated strike, rather. I did not have the proof, so I went ahead and got it so that I'm fully covered. I got the complete set now. It is no longer a thing. And then this was under melt at uh, $54.99. No, that's not. You like that? Yeah, that's probably under milk. There's a coin that was under milk. Oh, this one, Cayman Islands. They were about the same price. Yeah, that's why I got confused. All right, and that's what we got. So some of the stuff's a little over, some of it's a little under. And I think, like I said, all told, we're really close to spot price on this uh, silver that I got. And I'll have to do some math, but I'm not. Listen, it's it's game night tonight. We're not. I'm not gonna sit here and turn this into Silver University. You guys have seen enough videos to know how to convert sterling to actual ASW, right? We, we've done this many times. So if you have any questions, so ask me in the comment. I'll be happy to make you a short and with your name on it. I'll personalize it for you. I'll be like, hey, John, after I make a slapping noise. Now that's me slapping you on the head gently and lovingly. Tough love. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll, show, I'll answer any question you want and show you exactly how to do it, whatever it is. Uh, within reason, obviously. I'm not going to show you how to inject drugs or anything like that. We do that. Uh, that's our private time stuff. I don't do private time stuff on these videos. Um, that is for OnlyFans, and I am not a fan. Okay, moving right along. We'll go ahead and look at... This metal is actually a pretty cool piece. Uh, Orlando. Um, I'm not sure if it counts as a might 
uh, so-called dollar, but it's definitely so-called dollar adjacent. Now this cost me $19.99. It is uh, sterling silver. I wonder if it's marked. A lot of these are marked on the edge. Yes, it is marked. It is number 385. Um, are you marked? It? Yes, there we go. There's the mark. So you like I said, a lot of times you'll have marks on these things to tell you exactly what you got. There we go. And that is, I'm going to guess the engraver who made it. And I'm looking for the sterling mark. Usually there's a, yeah. Okay. That is a mintage number, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, I mean, this looks like silver. It tastes like silver. It feels like silver. So uh, I wonder if it's marked anywhere on the metal that it's silver. Okay. Anyway, so it is. If it's sterling, we should weigh it, right? I uh, I know what they officially said it weighed. Let's see if it. And if it's a so-called dollar, it would be 90% silver. So I might have to look it up. But I'm not real worried about it because we paid, hold on, 19 dollars for it. Uh, it supposedly weighs. Uh, it doesn't say what it weighs. We're about to find out. Okay. 30, yeah, yeah, one ounce, 30.26 grams. So not quite an ounce. It said almost an ounce. I remember now. So it's 30.26 grams. It is, let's ring it just to be safe. Make sure to ring it. Pingy, pingy, said the thingy. Let's ping it with this uh, dime. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's so. All day. It is sterling or 90%. One of the two by the sound of it. And I'm going to say it's sterling because most metals are. Um, so for $19.99, right, we got 30.26 um, grams of sterling silver. I'm going to say that's a good buy. Um, tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. And then this one was $14.99. It is also sterling silver. This one's made by the Franklin Mint. It is to commemorate the United Nations. And these are uh, doves, as you can't tell. And a very cool design where they say peace in various languages. Um, on the edge, let's see if there's anything on the edge. We're living on the edge, guys. Um... No, there's something there, yeah. Does it say how many grains it is, maybe? A lot of times they talk about grains. It does say sterling silver, right? Sterling silver. Let's see how you get that. You know, since I had that other one out, but yeah, this one's marked. Sterling, Franklin Mint, right there, 1971. It's all right there, Pennsylvania. And uh, it's got a proof-like finish on it. It is a metal. Very nice piece. Very lovely. $14.99. Yeah, I think uh, it weighs. I'm going to weigh it. 26.75 on the money. Grand. Can you guys see that? 26.75 grams. And we got that for $14.99. I mean, uh, now we got to take the $8 shipping and divide it by the number of items. So it might have been $15.99. Um, so just keep that in mind. I haven't done all the math on this slide. 
Uh, I'd buy that for fifteen ninety nine. How about you guys? I I'm pretty sure that's under milk. I'm, I'm almost positive. Now this one I'm also pretty sure is under milk. This one is sterling silver as well. You can see that clearly. I'm not gonna pull this one out because I kind of think it's cool. Uh, but yeah, it's clearly marked sterling silver. Franklin Mint. Um, Sculptor Studio Collection. And I think this one's actually really cool. Sterling. Um, 1972. I think that's that. You can find out. Oh, 74. But yeah. Here it is, guys. This is... I, I saw this, man. I thought it was pretty nifty. Um, it's a judo kind of thing going on with the, I don't know if I'm going to guess that's Japanese. And then there's a, I don't want to offend anybody. And then yin yang going on there. And then on the back, All right now look how big this thing is. I want you guys to, what did I do with that dime? I want, yeah, I want I mean, look at that. And this thing was like. Let me tell you how many grams it was. It was... Oh, it doesn't say here. You know what? We might put it on the scale. I believe it was 77 grams. Something like that. Yeah. It's uh, 70, 79 grams. 78 grams. Anyway, this thing was uh, $49. $54. $54 for 78 grams of Sterling, so that's pretty freaking sweet. And it's honking. I mean, this is a big old metal, but this isn't even close to our biggest stuff, guys. It isn't even close. Nope. It gets bigger as we go from here. <laughs> okay, first off, right off the bat, this is the bronze metal, but I'm not going to take too long on this because this came with the silver variety, so we're going to look more at the silver. It is 0.935, which I've noticed in Israel on their metals, they do this quite a bit with the 0.935. Has anyone else noticed this? Very cool. All right, now the rest of everything I want to show you is in the original packaging. Which is both a good and bad thing. Depending. Like, you hear that? I have a sinking suspicion that that capsule is going to fall apart when I try to pull this out. This coin by itself is about 2.4 ounces of silver. It is a big freaking coin. And, uh, I'm going to show you a dime next to it. So you kind of understand how big this freaking coin is. It's, it's thick, too. It's a big, thick, juicy... Coin. Like really thick, really chunky. And that is from the Cayman Islands. So we have all kinds of Cayman Islands going on today, guys. And we're gonna put that back in the holder. Um <clears throat> this coin cost uh forty-four ninety-nine, which is not uh, bad at all, you know, and again, we might add a dollar, like I said, for shipping because the shipping was eight dollars, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items, so it'd be just under a dollar for the shipping. So, add a dollar to everything I say just to make it easy. All right, this one costs a little over spot, uh, unlike the rest of the stuff we looked at so far. Um, but like I said, it comes with a bronze medal. This is the silver metal, and I'm going to talk a little bit about it. this. Is a chunky, chunky. This is over three ounces of silver. Go. Look at that. See that? Chunky, chunky, chunky. This is a big state of Israel. Official government medal celebrating the liberation of. Judea, 
um, and on the obverse of this medal is a depiction of a Roman coin. That is Vespasian, the emperor, and he has conquered Judea. On the reverse, though, we have a symbol of hope, <clears throat> as finally, after over a thousand years, freedom has come. And now the Judean people are free to live their lives, make babies, and plant prickly pears. No, I don't ever eat prickly. I, I gotta quit. Those might be dates growing on that tree. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments if you you know for sure. But yeah, Israel liberated in 1948. So there you go. There you go. It's the official state medal. From Israel, and I've got the proof right here. Yeah, the mintage on this was about, uh, I believe it was 8,700. So, very premier, right? It might have been 5,700. You know, I don't really care, but it was very low. It was under 10,000. I know that. Okay. Now, this, somebody, sometimes these clamshells are really bad yeah okay this coin is uber rare too this is the one i paid so much over a mill for this is the proof uh turks and uh kakos islands and it's uh, it was struck by the royal canadian mill it's not in a capsule but it does have this neat little flimsy hunk of hunk of. this is a chonky coin too it's a uh, 1.15 troy ounces of silver. Now there is some toning on this, but this proof coin is actually very, very, very uncommon. It's a very low mintage coin. Um, less than 10,000 coins were made. Um, this is uh, this is going to complete my collection. I now have both coins, so if I catch one under melt, yay. Otherwise, I have no interest. But, you know, this is how you develop interest in these kind of things by, you know, buying one under melt and then, oh, you have to complete the set, don't you? <laughs> That's that cool factor. Okay, and then finally, I left the best for last. This is the chonkiest thing I got. Now, you remember that Israeli metal that was big? That was the big time? No. This is the big time. Yeah. Yeah, that's Eva's head. This is a coin. Eva, come here. Look at this shiny. Do you approve? Look, Eva. Oh, I just want you guys to see how big this dang coin is. This coin weighs just a silver. is 4.04 ounces. This is bigger than a 20 Balboa. It is the largest coin I own that isn't pure silver. I do have larger coins, but they are 0.999. This coin is the largest, now the largest officially coin I own that is not pure silver. It is also officially a Nautic coin. And it is a Jamaican coin, 1983, remember it, of the Royal State Visit. It is a $25 coin. It is a chonker. This is a beast. Anyway, guys, I'm glad you could watch with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here is uh, the proof of purchase. Uh, yeah. Um, certificate of Authenticity. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And please, 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 leave, leave, leave me some, uh, you know, if you enjoyed the video. I, I do enjoy those comments. I really do. Find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. And if you can't find them, don't blame me. I'm showing you stuff I didn't even know existed until I bought it. Okay? Bye-bye.